This video is titled Left and Right and is a collaboration between writer-audio describer Max Grayson, choreographer-dancer Jeron Herman, composer-performer Molly Joyce, and director Austin Reagan, as a part of the Toulmin Fellowship with National Sawdust and New York University Center for Ballet and the Arts. The film was made in an open, empty indoor space with white walls and a gray floor. It has the atmosphere of a ballet room. This video features two performers. The first performer is composer and musician Molly Joyce, a white woman in her late 20s with medium-long, dark brown hair and blue eyes. The other is contemporary dancer Jeron Herman, a 30-year-old African-American man with black hair, a black stubbly beard, and brown eyes. There is also an integrated ASL interpretation by Brandon Kazen Maddox, an African-American man with black dreadlocks, who uses his hands and facial expression to portray the music and the lyrics. The spoken text on this video is an artistic audio description, which aims to be a bridge for perception and accessibility, as well as an aesthetic poetic element. For this project, music, dance, and text continuously inspired each other. The video consists of three sections. The audio description is written from multiple perspectives and is not synchronized with the images. For the third section, the song lyrics are meant to take over the role of describing. The first section is called Dualism. For the most part, this video has a split screen with one of the performers on each side. On both sides, there is a white background and both performers are dressed in black. There is integrated American Sign Language to give expression to the music. White space, a split screen. On the left, he, as he is, as he shows himself, always moving. His body is the language that he knows and speaks. On the right, she, a young white woman with dark hair, playing her brown vintage toy organ with gold decal, with thin brown wooden legs, playing the notes as if she were composing his memories. His left side is locked tight, under control. His right side is elegantly swinging, exploring its freedom, spinning like a wheel. This is him. He is both rock and water, solid and supple, guard and rascal. He toys with his polarized self-esteem. To his left lies submission, to his right lies ambition, and he is the pilgrim that wanders in between. looks up, reaches deeper and deeper into his center. This is him utterly alone, digging himself into her focus. The screens switch, they change places. She plays and plays, he breathes in and in and in. Then they switch back. His right side approaches his left side, tries to hold it, pushes and pulls, but his left side sits tight, as if it were forbidden to be touched or moved, as if it were taboo. As he twists and turns, she becomes a shadow. And then, so does he. They are colorless reflections of a distant past that ties them together. Shadows stuck on the wall. She plays, he digs, they sway. Again they switch. Now his right side pulls him up and down. He is a victim of the contest between his extremities. 
this is him. He is both statue and breeze, pillar and wing. Switch. This is him, breathing in and in. Switch. This is him breathing in and in and in as she disappears and becomes a grotesque sustained chord. This is him covering all sides now, mirrored and reflected. This is him left and right front and back. Four identical versions of him moving in sync, breathing and digging. Something has changed. And so has he. The second section is called Overuse, Underuse. It was filmed in a space with a white wall and concrete floor. The integrated American Sign Language interpretation is framed within a circle in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. The sign language expresses the music and the lyrics. She walks in barefoot, black pants and vest. She goes to her organ in the center of the space. She sets our song in motion. I enter in a black suit, holding a silver bucket, as if it were an urn, carrying the remnants of our shared history. As she plays, I pace back and forth on the foreground, my bare feet trailing on the smooth gray floor. circle around her as a capricious, sinister figure. I surround her with my unpredictability. grappling and squirming, wrestling, as do mine. And I still move slowly around her, try to make her remember everything. I could be a tree going through the seasons, growing doubt like leaves, bending in the wind, blooming, weathering, shivering.
by side, slowly yet resolute. I look up. She looks forward. The expression on her face terrifyingly relaxed. Her gaze is fixed. She doesn't blink. I look down. We are reckless, ready to collide with whatever is about to happen. drop the silver bucket. It hits the ground. Our pass splashes straight up in the air. The third section is called Asymmetry. The background is white, and the video editing is a composition of video layers on top of each other called overlay. The American Sign Language interpretation is integrated in the lower right-hand corner. The sung lyrics are meant to be an artistic form of audio description, which does not always accurately describe what is visible, but which is a verbal interpretation of the creator's vision. Two empty hands, Identical, almost. Well, 
left and right. Molly Joyce is a 2021 Toulmin Fellow, a National Sawdust partnership with the Center for Ballet and the Arts at NYU dedicated to fostering interdisciplinary networks with composers and choreographers, made possible by the Virginia B. Toulmin Foundation. This live stream is also made possible through the generosity of the Alphadine Foundation and with public funds provided by the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs in partnership with the New York City Council. Audio Describer Max Grayson Choreographer and Dancer Jaron Herman Composer, performer, Molly Joyce. Director, Austin Reagan. Senior curator and programming director, Nicole Merritt Chari. Producer, Danielle Shelley Levy. Audio engineer, Michael Hammond. ASL interpreter, Brandon Kazen Maddox. Video editor, Hannah Rifkin. Accessibility Consultant, Sandy Gutman. Director of ASL, Shelley Guy. Director of Audio Descriptions, Andy Slater. <laughs>